Welcome to another episode of C's Backyard Bees. Um, today we're just talking about what to do with winter. So it is the end of January, we have a stretch of nice days in front of us. So how do I know that my bees are still alive and that they're healthy? One thing I don't want to do is open them up, um, move frames around because the problem is if you kill your queen, there's there's no way to get another queen in there. That hive is going to die. So I would absolutely refrain from opening these up, pulling frames, and looking for a queen. Because worst case scenario, you roll that queen between frames. Also, it breaks up all the insulation and everything else they've glued together. So it just kind of messes with their overall flow of things, definitely in the winter. So there are a couple things that you want to look for in the winter. And um, let's talk about those right now. So the first thing that you want to look at is, are your hives flying? And all four of my hives are flying. They're flying a lot better about an hour ago. We're starting to hit um, a little bit of dusk here. So they're starting to find their way back home. Um, but the ones that are still in the sun are still flying. So that's the first thing that you want to look at. Is it a pretty busy entrance? The second thing that you want to look at is what are they doing? Because what they should be doing is leaving the hive, going to the restroom, seeing if there's any resources yet. Um, but the one of the main jobs is, are they carrying out dead bees, right? Dead bees are a natural process, definitely in the winter. So what happens is those dead bees fall on the bottom and their job is to clean them up. So how many are they cleaning up their dead bees, which if we look in front of our hives, they are cleaning up the dead bees. We got, you know, a few hundred dead bees, which is perfectly normal. If they weren't cleaning up their dead bees, then that would tell us that you might have a weaker hive. But again, at this point, you can't really do anything. If you have a weak hive, it's not like you can quickly find new bees, put them together, right? Like, it's just kind of the worst case scenario. And we got a bee dragging away a dead bee right there in the middle of the screen. Um, it'll fly off, drop them off on the ground. Um, sometimes they'll even fly them well away from the hive, even farther than that if they can. Cool. Um, another thing that you are looking for in this hive, so this hive is awfully strong. Um, you see all these white clumps on the ground. That's actually their sugar board. They're tearing apart their sugar board and carrying their sugar board out. So that tells me that this hive is awfully strong. They must have some good sources if they don't think that they need that sugar board. And that's basically it. Like it just gives you a nice little, nice little feeling that your hives are doing all right. They're flying, they're cleaning out their dead. This one's even strong enough to be cleaning out their sugar board. Um, but yeah. And then the last thing that you might want to do is just to check your sugar boards to see how they are doing. So, um, our first resources kind of start at the end of March. So they need enough sugar if they're using their sugar to make it to the end of March. So we have about two months to go here. So we're just going to look in this sugar board here. And this is as far as you would want to take a hive apart. Um, Again, last year in March, I believe, I took a hive apart because I was gung-ho to see what was going on in them. And all of a sudden, that hive died within a week. And I really think it was because I killed the queen when I got in there to look at it. So again, these guys have plenty of sugar. Not worried about it. I guess they're all girls right now. They have plenty of sugar. Not worried about it. But yeah, so I got into a hive. I took... Um, the frames out, look for the queen, look to see any activity, and all of a sudden a week later that hive was gone. So I would highly recommend staying out of your hives to the best of your ability in winter, um, especially until they start laying eggs and drones are flying because you kill their, your queen, like that's the end of your hive, you know, definitely in these months where there's no foraging and no active, not much activity going on. So if you like what you see, please subscribe. Give me a like and I'll see you next time.